Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at NAMM 2013 at the Mojo Hand booth. We're talking to Zach about two new pedals. Zach, tell us what we just heard first. Well, what you just heard was pretty much our flagship overdrive, the Rook. Uh, we've kind of upgraded it for 2013, uh, the Rook Royale. The right channel is our standard Rook overdrive, which, you know, your standard gain and volume. Bass and treble use an active tone stack so you can boost or cut lows and highs. The toggle in the middle is pretty much different clipping options. When it's toggled up, it's symmetrical clipping. Toggled down all the way and it adds an extra gain stage. LED clipping gets a little rougher. Toggle to the middle takes all the diodes out, gets clean and loud, kind of clonish. So it's pretty much three different overdrives in one, very versatile. What we did... So what did we hear at the very beginning? What you heard in the beginning was asymmetrical with the LED clipping added in just standard with the toggle down. The thing with the Royale is the left channel, we added a modified EP preamp, kind of like the old preamps that were in the Echo Plexes. Exotic has the EP booster. We added a tone control for treble. The EPs can get kind of woofy. Some players don't like that. I, I never had a problem with it, but what the treble knob will do, it won't it won't touch the low frequencies at all. It'll keep that woofiness, but it'll be able to add a little bit of bite and the toggle in the middle will help you select what order they're in. So you can put the boost before or after for more saturation or more volume. So the added treble helps the woofiness cut through a little bit better? Exactly. Right. Okay. Should we hear a couple other settings? Sure. Mm, this is up. So what's this one now? This is straight symmetrical clipping. We're hearing this through a Dr. Z Junior, excuse me, 18 watt. Is that pretty clean? Yes, it's pretty much. Okay. What other sounds do you want to show us from the Brook, the Brook Royale? This is in the middle where it takes all the diodes out, gets very much more transparent. Sweet. Now, if you, if you switch the order, you'll get more volume and less saturation. can switch which uh, whether the right side feeds into the left or the left exactly. feeds into the right cool use them completely independently use them together stack them with anything you'd want to okay cool should we move on to the Villanova sure the Villanova is an actual photo cell vibe in a small enclosure it's got five controls on top your standard depth and speed tone knob because you know normally if you hit a univibe with a fuzz face you're gonna get a lot of added high end this will help you roll it back if needed volume so you can get a boost or cut it back if you feel like you're getting some frequencies you don't want and the mix knob kind of add acts as a ratio when you turn it down it'll blend in clean signal and all the way up it'll do true pitch vibrato as well well let's hear it
lush, man. trippy it's making me nervous just kidding <laughs> <laughs> sounds really good man so what are the prices on these the Villanova is going to retail for 229 the Rook Royale we're shooting for 235 how about street prices Do you have those set at all street price not yet we've this Rook Royale here is the only one in, in existence right now we had it assembled a day before we left uh, probably in the next few weeks we'll have kind of a better grasp on street price uh, when they'll be shipping to dealers. We're shooting for three or four weeks. Okay. And where can people go in the meantime to find find out more information on them? MojoHandFX.com. Cool. Thanks, Zach. Thanks. Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a beat with our new NAM videos.